I got this really cool harmonic drive geared motor. We're going to hook it up and make it spin. So it's really small. Uh, in the back here is a 10 pole brushless motor. And up here we can see the incremental encoder with Hall circuit, uh, motor power wires, feedback signals. Um, this is the output of the gear. So the motor turns 30 times and the output turns once. Um, it's the FHA-8C. It's, uh, it's not the 200-volt uh, motor. So we need to make sure we get the right... Yeah, this is the 200-volt motor. I've got the 24-volt motor. It has a gear ratio of 30 to 1. So its uh, max current is 3 amps and its continuous is 1.6. Uh, the data is available at Harmonic Drive on the web for the FHA C mo miniature motors. And this is the 24-volt uh, winding. Um, Harmonic Drive also has the HDM software used for setup and tuning with a Harmonic Drive motor. They got all the motor files included in there. That's really cool, so I don't have to enter the data manually. And uh, one product is the uh, DDP, which can be connected to 24 volts. Um, you connect the feedback and motor power, and then talk to it over the serial port. And I use a USB to serial adapter from B and B Electronics. Um, and they have really cool online diagram and data sheet, uh, accessory items. So we just wired up the halls, the incremental encoder, uh, motor power uh, to, the, to the drive. And um, we're, now we're, we're all good to run the software. So I'm just going to show you the setup here for a moment. Uh, I'm actually using a ME3 drive. It's a three-axis drive on the a axes. Um, I've got the harmonic drive, motor power wires connected to the power, U, V, and W, red, white, and black. And the green wire is connected to the case at this end and to ground at the drive. And you can see I have earth connected to the drive from the, from the power supply chassis. This is my star system ground. So located close to the drive. Um, so the case is connected to earth. The feedback is connected. The shield finds a path to earth. So make sure you connect the shield. Uh, all, all shields uh, should find a path to earth. So um, this is the uh, ME3. You can do 5 amps continuous 10 peak. Run off 24 volts. Could run off of 48 too. I think this motor is good for 48. I've also got the development kit, so the module plugs into the development kit, and it's all wired according to the data sheet. So I'm going to zoom in here and watch this, watch this spin. So using the um, software, uh, I can jog it. It's been all set up and tuned. Calculated data is pretty good, gets us in the ballpark. Um, so I'm rotating at 60 RPM, which should be one rev a second, but it's going real slow. Well, that's because I got a gear ratio of 30 to 1. So 30 times 60 would give me one rev per second at the output shaft. 1, 1,000, 2, 2,000. Yeah, that's about right. So we can see uh, at the output shaft the rotation. Um, this drive, again, we'll go through the basic setup here just to see what's going on. Brushless rotary, digital halls, incremental encoder on the primary, position mode, software programmed, sinusoidal. Uh, there's no multi-mode port out on this. I don't, well, maybe there is. So we could do buffered out um, if we wanted. The um, motor data for harmonic drives, FH8C is the winding, 30 is the gear, US200 de defines the feedback, 
Halls with incremental encoder. Uh, from the, the data sheet, you can get the uh, inertia, poles, peak and continuous force, maximum theoretical top speed, torque constant, vacuum F, inductance resistance. Um, or you could just open up the, the motor file from Harmonic Drive. They have their own software. Uh, the counts per rev. So it's 2,000 pulses per rev is, is lines, which is 8,000 counts per rev. And uh, we've got loss detection enabled here. Um, the current loop tuning uh, is it's not it's, it's good to tune the current loop, but just I'm going to check the bandwidth. should get about a kilohertz of current loop bandwidth. So we can let the uh, bandwidth tester on the iLoop screen check the bandwidth for us. 1.3 kilohertz, that's good. I like the kilohertz. Uh, 1.6 amps continuous, 3 amps peak. There's some gains there for the current loop. Uh, velocity loop, just make sure this limit is out of your way. I'm only going to go 6,000 RPM. I think that's the max speed limit according to the data sheet. So set this to at least 10% or 20% higher. And these gain values, someone has tuned it already. I can tell they're nice round numbers. Uh, position loop gain's been stiffened a little bit. Tracking window, maybe that's a little high. So 100 counts should be a good tracking window. 10 seconds, good tracking time. Typical tested trajectory. Uh, the difficult thing in this motor was the manual phasing. You know, if you wire according to the wiring diagram, and you know, you don't you don't need to do the phasing. Um, but if you change the wiring or are not phased, then you may need to phase. So what we'll do is we'll watch the motor shaft, and I'll rotate the current vector. Um, right now, the current vector is rotating, but I'm not getting any counts, and the halls aren't changing, and that's because I'm only getting 10% of the continuous current to start with. So what I found is I had to use the full continuous current to be able to get the current vector to rotate. So forward, the hall indicators are good, slightly leading. Reverse, slightly leading. When I go forward, counts go up, and everybody gets a turn at plus or minus 1.6 amps. Um, again, when we rotate slowly, it's kind of hard to see the motor rotating, but I'm going to go you know, 10 electrical cycles per second. Uh, no, that's one electrical cycle per second. And here's 10 electrical cycles per second. So we can go a little bit faster. Uh, I need to go 30 times that to get it to be one rev per second, but it's, it's just for visual sake. So, um, you know, we can see the encoder counts, even if the, the motion looks very small at the output. It's a gear ratio. So no changes were made to the phasing. That's all good. Uh, we'll take a quick peek at some tuning with the harmonic drive. Uh, again, the current loop looks good. You know, commanded an actual um, plenty of current loop response. A little bit of velocity back and forth uh, at 700 RPM. Nice and stiff, commanded an actual. That looks good. And uh, we'll do a profile move. 8,000 counts is one rev at the motor shaft. So if we want to go one full rev at the output, that would be 8,000 times, oh, 8,000 times 30. Twenty-four, two hundred and forty thousand. All right, that, that worked. Wow. Uh, so this move accelerated, ran, decelerated, stopped. Uh, got a little bit of following error, plus or minus uh, a few counts. Um, some interesting things to look at during motion. Actual current. Voltage bus, uh, voltage terminal servo, and uh, miscellaneous uh, 
event status miscellaneous in motion. So there's the move again with a bunch of stuff being reported. You can see at the end of the move here, trajectory generator is done, in motion bit toggles low, following error is really tight. So there's, there's not a big inertia on this motor. Uh, actual current hits about one amp. It's kind of a burst to get, get going, a two amp burst. There's a lot of stiction. Once we get over it, it's a little, a little easier to run. Uh, when you're at speed, you got some friction or viscosity going on. Uh, bus voltage in orange is at about 20 something volts. And the terminal voltage servo kind of follows the, the current and the speed. It's about 10 volts at this speed. Try the 6,000 RPM, see if we can hit that. Yeah, see, it's warning us. Don't go faster than the limit. Uh, again, very well behaved. 6,000 RPM. Did we hit 6,000 RPM? Hmm, oh, not quite. Yeah, so we need to accelerate a little faster. Double the acceleration, may get a little higher current during XL and decel. Yeah, there we go. Hit 6,000 RPM. The voltage hits about 12 volts. Uh, so that's that's well behaved. Okay. Uh, be sure to save the flash when you're done tuning and uh, making parameter changes. Can always test out the jog again. Yeah. Nice and smooth. Good. Thanks for learning how to spin a harmonic drive motor.